Good morning. Today we're going to look at um, my holding of oil stocks. I started investing back in March when the um, lockdown happened and coronavirus started to make its name, as one might say, and the um, price of oil um, went negative for a day, I believe. Um, looking at the um, uh, graph of the price of oil over a year we can see uh, where the price of oil went down to um, virtually zero uh, this is a year's graph and the price now is back up to just under fifty dollars a barrel so it's had a bit of an adventure oil up so my holding in shares I hold several shares in oil and we'll go through my portfolio one at a time and we'll look at um, a couple of free things on every share we'll look at the return each um, um, share has made to date um, what the broker's sentiment is and what they predict the value of the shares will go to and what the yield is and um, I'll indicate if I'm going to sort of buy, sell or hold. So we'll start off with the first one, which is BP. Um, the total value of my holding is £970. And the um, return is uh, minus 2.75%. The um, broker's sentiment is a 48% increase. So, and the yield is 12.7%. So, based on that, um, there's a lot of potential for an upside and there's a good yield to come. So, I'm going to hang on to my holding there. The next one in my um, portfolio is Khan Energy UK based oil company uh, and my present holding um, is 35 shares value at £73 and we're up £41 which is 130% now this is an unusual one the broker's sentiment here is that the shares are going to go down by about 21% and there's no yield produced so this is the only one of my um holding of oil shares i'm going to sell so i'll be doing that later on today putting the sell order out um, the next one in my portfolio is a company called enquest this is a um, uk based oil exploration company and my holding here i have 294 shares total value 33 pounds um, the return is 15%. Now with Enquest, they um, don't give a year, don't give a dividend yield, but the um, predicted upside is 120%. So therefore, I'm going to um, hold on these shares. This is my little schedule I've written out. So we've got Enquest. Um, my holding's up 15%. The broker sentiment is up 120%, and the yield is zero so we're going to hang on to these shares and see what happens the next one is exxon uh i've uh, my holding in exxon is 232 pounds the um, return is um, up 32 pounds which is 16 percent uh and the um Broker's sentiment on this one is an upside of 14%. Um, but the good thing about this is the yield is 10%. So I'm definitely going to hang on to Exxon. So that's a well-known large company. Um, we'll just go back to the next one is uh, Gulf Keystone. That's a UK-based oil exploration company. Um, I have... 10 shares in this company um total value 1224 which is not much money they're up 54 percent four pounds 34 and um as i say they're up 53 percent the broker sentiment is um an increase of 78 percent so there's room there and they give a yield of 9.78 percent so i might actually consider investing a bit more in that company um 
moving on to the next one, hunting. Now, hunting, um, they're associated with the oil industry insofar as they manufacture the tools that oil companies use to drill oil. Um, I have five shares, £10 in value. Um, they're up 15%. Now, looking at this, um, the, the, the upside on hunting um, is 30, 30%. And they give a 1.92% yield. So I'm going to stick with them. The next one in my holding of oil companies is Far Faris Energy. Uh, just going to scroll up to that. Uh, Faris Energy. Now I have 216 shares. Total value 39.40. We're up 29%. Now, Faris Energy, um, they pay a dividend of 30%. Now, that is a very large dividend. Um, I'll just check here. Dividend yield 30%. Now, that's quite amazing. Now, the other good thing about Faris Energy is um, the broker's sentiment is that's going to go up 177%. So... Based on this information, um, it would make sense to buy more shares. So that might be what I'm going to do um, very soon. So Faris Energy is a definite buy more. Um, coming on to Premier Oil. Now, I've mentioned this one before on on um, previous videos. Um, I have 533 shares, total value 105.32. Um, I'm down £108, which is 50%. The only good thing is um, Premier Oil down 50%. The broker's sentiment is that they're going to go up 69%. Um, there's no dividend yield. So I'm going to wait for the value to climb back up. Then I'm going to sell to cut my losses. So hopefully I should um, just sell up what I bought for um, and then get out of the market with Premier Oil. Um, I have in the past um, done quite well on Premier Oil. I've held Premier Oil for several years on different platforms and um, made some quite good um, profits. So, But Premier Oil is one I'm going to sell once they return to the price I paid for them. Uh, I haven't got too much there, so we're not too bad. Um, next one is Rock Hopper. Uh, Now, my holding there is 494 shares, total value 29.71. Um, I've got 0.47% return. Um, now, they, um, Rock Hopper, the broker's sentiment with Rock Hopper is um, a potential upside of 40%, and they give a, a dividend yield of 5.61%. So I'll hang on to them. Nothing amazingly exciting, but worth hanging on to. Um, and we've got Royal Dutch Shell. Uh, my holding in them is 78.56. Just over six shares. Um, and my return is minus 1.31%. But there, there's a definite um, broker sentiment of an upside of 40%. And they give 5.6% um, yield. And Royal Dutch Shell is, is, is a global... Um, nationally known company so I'm going to stick with them and I think I should be okay nice safe bet and lastly is a company called Tallow Oil uh, Tallow Oil this is a UK based oil exploration company again I believe we'll just have a quick look um, it's an independent oil and gas exploration and production company company's primary activity is discovery and production of oil and gas and that's in West Africa and different places. Uh, um, that's based in London, oil and gas, and the um, dividend, no dividend yield. And uh, looking at my holding, I have 185 shares, 5446. And I've got a return of 81%, which is a very good return, £24.53. And the broker's sentiment is up 15.4%, so I'll hang on to them for a bit longer. So that's the um, story on my holding of shares at the moment. I'm only going to sell one 
company and that is um Khan Energy. The rest I'm gonna hang on to and I might be buying some more shares and I think there's room for potential growth. And um as I say, oil is a, it's quite a volatile market. Um you can see from the graph here how the prices sort of dropped back at the start of the pandemic or when it started and now things are picking up. And I think the price of oil will go up. Once we get the vaccine out, as I said, um, the, the Oxford vaccine has just been approved yesterday, which was the um, 30th of uh, December in the UK and um, the Pfizer one's out. And um, I think get all the vaccines out and then we'll get air travel up and running again. Industry will start moving, greater demand for oil. Um, so I think we're heading in the right direction and there are a lot of opportunities for myself to make some good income. Hope you found this interesting, not financial advice, but you can always look and see what I do and make your own mind up. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe. Um, all comments and questions are most welcome and I'd reply to all of them. But, but one of the most, well, not most important thing is I'm trying to build my um, YouTube following up. So if you could please subscribe and get anyone else to subscribe, that really does help me. Till next time, I bid you really successful and happy investing.